We are here in the exterior lobby. This area was open to the public and the main archway was a glass front facing Main Street in Trinidad in 1908. In 1908, there was no marquee and there was no box office out there. The box office was in this space here. This has been converted to a closet, but there's a desk that sits about this high. You can almost see the frame of it right here. Once you bought your ticket, you entered the Fox West Theater. The main doors that were right here are still in our basement. This is the original manager's chair from the Fox West Theater. And I'm going to share with you two different moments from the Fox West Theater's history that I think we should all be proud of. The first, it's a very long story, so I'm not going to tell it all, but Rick Ricketson was the executive in charge of Fox West Intermountain in Denver, Colorado. A promotional scheme developed here at the Fox West and at other theaters throughout his chain in the early 1930s saved the motion picture theater industry. It was called Bank Night and it has something to do with the cash award sign that you saw there. Rick Rickinson would take the idea of Bank Night and create a corporation and a for-profit business. Bank Night made Rick Ricketson so much money that he presented this plaque to the Fox West Theater, one of the places where the idea was born. The Rick Ricketson Courtesy Award, awarded every six months to the Fox Theater staff that has come nearest to receiving each guest with the kindly hospitality of a friend. To welcome you is our pleasure to serve you in joyous measure. Three-time winner and permanent recipient, Fox Theater, Trinidad, Colorado. The other plaque I'd like to share with you for, comes from the Fox West Theater's history during the 1980s. While the building was owned by Sally and Marie Savoya, there became interested parties in Trinidad to put this building on the National Register of Historic Places. That did not happen. But what did happen is that this building was designated a historic theater by the Colorado Historic Theater Association. Hey, I'm here in the interior lobby. Yes, the Fox West Theater has two different lobbies. The staircase that I'm on, there's two of them, they match on either side of the interior lobby, lead to the second balcony. But here at the top of the stairs, there's an artifact I wanted to point out. Lighting the theater for cleaning always required, well, they would bring in lights on pedestals. There's a few in the theater that use tire or car rims to hold them down. This one, uh, it's just a big metal base, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool utility lights. We're lucky to have a few large scale posters that tell the story of the Fox West Theater. Here, season's greetings from the entire staff. Henry Westerfield, was an interesting character here in Trinidad who actually managed the theater twice in his life, first in the 20s, and then he was asked back in the 1940s. Charles Mantelli is related to the Mantelli's bar down the street. Who is Trinidad's star of tomorrow, Talent Quest? This was found deep in the basement and is missing some of the 8x10 stills. This staircase leads to the second balcony here at the Fox West Theater. Though not everybody went to the second balcony, everybody saw this staircase. It is, in fact, marble and very ornately designed, specifically for this theater. The staircase was covered over with carpeting first in the 1920s, at which time they put this wooden kick plate along it. 
There's a couple different layers of carpet, so I always watch my step as I work my way down. This phone booth is not original to the building. Telephones weren't. But it's probably from the 1930s. It's got its original phone book holder. Can you imagine the entire city of Trinidad's phone directory to fit in this small book? There's graffiti all over this. The oldest I've found says 1934. And the seat is so well worn. A lot of calls. Hey, mom and dad, come pick me up at the movie theater. We're made from this phone booth. I'm here in the interior lobby, and I just want to make mention again of this staircase because it's incredible, and it matches the one on the other side of the room I'm on, except for going downstairs. That leads to the ballroom. The ballroom was accessed by the public through this set of stairs, but also from other entrances at ground level on the outside of the building. The walk down these stairs gives you a sense of the, how much metal is involved in the creation of this staircase. There's a relic in this space I want to share with you. Wait, I'll bring it over and then say Here's another large-scale poster from the history of the Fox West Theater. Based on the list of merchants and the advertisement for Hopalong Cassidy, this is probably from the early 1950s. To my knowledge, the only business that remains on this poster is First National Bank. We're still here in the interior lobby, and on that side you've got a set of stairs that lead to the ballroom. What's on this side of the stairs? It's a closet. A utility closet. Here's another fine example of a light created for use in cleaning the auditorium after the patrons have left. Boy, that's really something. Also in here is a, one of the house telephones. The house telephone system runs throughout the building, from the box office, to the manager's office, to this utility closet, to backstage, to the projection room, so that everybody would know when it's time to start the show. There are also some boxes in this space that don't have any films in them, but do show you what the boxes looked like when the theater received them. Films were sent through the mail to the Fox West Theater in the early 1920s and 1930s. These boxes, which I found in this closet, represent the kind of shipping material they used. Films were very hazardous. The material they were made of were not a plasticky type material that you might think of. Here we have some original film, which yes, is on plastic and probably from the 30s or 40s, probably the 40s. And what does it say? You know this goes by the, the projector at 32 frames a second. $800 cash night this week. $800? Would you go to the movies tonight if you knew you would run the chance of winning $800? I bet the rest of the films in this canister are different denominations. <laughs>